Hey, what's up, YouTube and my non-sport fans? It's your boy, Retro Hero, back doing another non-sport trading card show and tell. This one's number 93. In today's episode, well, I've had lots of things make their way to the Retro Hero mailbox over the last couple of weeks. You can kind of see a few items in the background. I have some other items as well. I'm not sure if we're going to get to those today because I'd really like to talk about a wonderful package I received from the man, the legend, Trading Cards, Milo. If you haven't seen Trading Cards videos, make sure you check him out on YouTube. He's a super funny and a really nice guy. And he's Canadian, eh? So you gotta check him out. In addition to that, I had a little package make its way to me in the mail today. Wow, I am 8-bit finally delivered on the Garbage Pail Kids Mad Mike and the Quest for Stale Gum Nintendo game. Are we going to break open this sealed box? Yeah, we're probably going to do so to check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Hi and welcome back everybody. Here we go. Today's episode. First, we're going to jump right into a care package given to your boy here from Trading Cards. Miles at Trading Cards. Miles is a YouTube content creator. The name of his channel is Trading Cards. I'll again have it pop up somewhere on the screen for you. Miles, such a nice guy. I stumbled across this channel late night on YouTube just as I'm filing cards. I, I look for new channels to watch. And, and I was immediately really interested in his content. Not only did he open sport and non-sport card, which cards, which I which I love that stuff. He was genuine. You know, he was funny. He he was genuine when he talked about these cards. The whole concept of his channel is he does a lot of trades with people. He opens up cards and then he trades and they send him a care package and and it just keeps going on. And if you watched a, a couple videos ago, I was talking about the different types of collectors and I really do envy the the reinvestor collector, just the standard collector, someone that buys and sells and takes that money and reinvests and buys more. And and that's who Miles is. And he truly does this for the love of cardboard. And and to me that's awesome. You know, I love cardboard. I love non-sport cards. I love GPK. Um, but there are things that I keep sealed in my collection because you know it's sealed. It's pretty. It looks great. It's it's eye candy on a shelf. That is not Miles, and that's why I love his channel, but I digress. Um, I sent Miles a mystery box just to have him open on channel. Uh, you guys, when I send you mystery boxes, I, I really don't need you to send me anything in return. Typically, I have a lot of stuff. Um, if, if I ever see something on your channel and we want to do a dealing for something like that, we, we can do something separate, but... I made a bet with Miles, and and I completely forgot about it, <laughs> and he reminded me about it with this letter that he sent. So uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, the letter says, Hey Retro, I know you said you didn't want anything from me. The thing is, in my videos, oh baby, you said the following. And right here, I've just got my little blurb. I said, Prove to me that you get that card graded, and I will send you a mystery box, brother. LOL. Um, inside this envelope is the card and the proof. You already sent me the mystery box and a deal is a deal. Love your videos and chatting with you. Uh, you're the kid. Yeah, whatever, Miles. But uh, hey, yeah, thank you. Um, so really, uh, Miles was opening a pack of Baby. And, and for you non-sport trading card collectors out there, Baby is is as, about as valuable as, as new kids on the block. <laughs> I mean, they're just really common. And he was so in love with this card uh, from, I, I guess this is a TV series, right? I, I don't know. I hope it's not a movie with that uh, that animation. Um, what do they call that? Uh, it's some some sort of animation. Just a second, I got to get a drink. It's, it's Friday, so it is beer 30. And we only go classy at the Retro Hero House, uh, Bush Latte. 
Uh, but he sent me the card. And inside of here, I, I had to read this over a couple times. Here's proof he got the card graded. So I guess in, in Canada land, um, grading is a little different. I don't know. Trading card evaluation Rubik. And it says, Card Baby, the new adventure movie, Introducing Baby, Card 19. He submitted this on January 16th, 2023. When did I send you that message? Oh, it doesn't say. But three months ago. So I'm assuming around the same time. And it got graded. The grading was uh, a 3 minus, I guess. And level 3 is is maybe like a PSA 7 or a PSA 8. Uh, a pretty standard near mint card grade, right? So, Miles, a, a deal is a deal, brother. You are right. It, <laughs> and uh, your, your boy here... Um, because I'm not a, a gracious gift collector. If you if you watch Big Bang, if you send me something and I like it more than what I sent you, I have to send you something in return. So I'm, I'm Sheldon. But uh, he got it graded, so here it is. I have a, a graded baby card. And uh, Miles, I promise this will never leave my collection. I'm going to keep it in this fancy card holder and uh, add it to the uh, personal retro hero collection forever and ever. Thank you, brother. Really, really cool. Uh, graded baby card. Okay, in addition, I've got uh, Ultraviolet. Yeah, Ultraviolet uh, Tops Chrome card, but on the back. When I first opened this up, I didn't notice this. It's got uh, Tom Bunk's autograph on it. And I know you sent um, the GOAT Tom Bunk uh, some cards for autograph. Um, Tom did not do the art for Ultraviolet, but he did do the back art. And so he signs the back when he does that art. And that's, of course, Acne Amy back there. And that's awesome. I, I think I only have one Tom Bunk autograph in my collection. And this is my second. So thank you so much. That is absolutely awesome. When I saw this, I, I, was, I was nearly speechless. I mean, that's, that's great. Tom is getting up there in years, and uh, he did some amazing artwork for the Garbage Pail Kids in the 80s. And, of course, his work with Mad Magazine and, and many, many other series, uh, Bathroom Buddies, all that great stuff. So I was very, very happy to get this. Thank you so much, and, and a very welcome addition to my collection. Um, I got some packs here. We will open some packs for you today. That's why we're not going to go uh, too in-depth with all this stuff you see in the background. Um, I have a wax pack of New Kids on the Block. However, this is New Picks and it's their second series. I do not have uh, a second series of New Kids on the Block. Um, I have a bunch of the first series, but not second series. So I'm, I'm reaching over here as I'm talking to you on camera. And this is me protecting that wax pack, and that's going to go in the Retro Hero Wax Pack collection. Um, we have some Star Wars Galaxy, uh, a couple packs of Superman. Very cool. These are neat. I've never, I've, I've got a box of these sealed, but never opened them. Uh, rock cards, really cool pack of these. So we're going to open those up. Uh, Saved by the Bell, the college years. We've got some X Files contact, and this is uh, amazing. Now I saw this opened up on your channel. Um, this is BBM 2021 Sumo Cards, the Legend series, and and Heroes. Uh, this is a great set of cards, and and believe it or not, this this box, the 2021 and 2022 Sumos, the boxes go for. I don't know, seventy to a hundred dollars plus, uh, mostly because they have some some great autographs that come in the boxes. I don't know if I'm going to open this. I don't have one of these foil packs, and I do always try to keep at least one thing sealed in my collection. So, for right now, we're going to set that aside. Um, but this is uh, so Miles and I we we connected via email, and and he was asking some questions on this pack of cards, and I had to do a little bit of research, and and I phoned a friend essentially that knows everything there is to know about non-sport trading cards. And, and he didn't have a lot of information on this, but he was so kind and directed me to a website. There are people that collect uh, dandy tattoo cards, bubblegum. Um, they are Finnish or Swedish. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly where, where dandy was. Oh, Denmark. Okay, so a product of Denmark. Um, they're most noted for they did some either Looney Tunes or, or Mickey Mouse type cards. They, of course, have pirates and and 
and they did some tattoos uh, really really great set of trading cards not a lot is known on this pack um, you don't see them come up for auction a whole lot um, if you do you do occasionally see a couple open tattoo cards um, the general consensus is this pack comes from 1972 or 1970-ish, um, one of the last years that they did that. I am going to take it out of the holder here. I am not going to open this for you because it will go into my sealed collection uh, because the pack sealed is is almost a museum piece. That's, that's how uncommon uh, my understanding of these are. It is a paper pack. It is absolutely beautiful. The colors are still very, very uh, vibrant on this. You see it comes from Denmark. And uh, you can kind of feel the gum back here as well. This is absolutely outstanding. Um, you know, Milo, I, I don't know if this is worth uh, $1,000 or $10, but to me it's priceless. So thank you so much. Uh, this is me getting a, a new little penny sleeve for that. And uh, let's see if I have a, a smaller holder for this. I, I, I don't think I do, so I'm going to put it in a larger one for now. Uh, but a very welcome addition to my collection. Thank you so much for that. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, so let's jump into some trading cards that, that Miles sent us. We're taking a look at, uh, well, the X-Files first. We're going to open these up today. And then we're going to talk a little bit about some future things. Um, okay, so the X-Files, I don't, I don't, uh, it's been a long time since I've, I've watched the movie. So I don't know a whole lot about the X-Files anymore. Um, okay, so we got a gorilla. Is that, is that two gorillas? Looks like two gorillas. Eh, probably an image from one of the shows. Another show image. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. All right, those are X-File cards. So, uh, <laughs> you know, for those of you that collect non-sport trading cards, um, there are good and there are bad sets. <laughs> And uh, I don't know a whole lot about the X File sets, uh, but I do know that if you have ten dollars and a few bucks for shipping, um, you can definitely get one of those sets and add it to your collection. Now, Saved by the Bell, I do very much enjoy Saved by the Bell, uh, but I don't know a whole lot about the college years. I'm assuming this was a television series. We'll see if I know any of the original characters. Uh, listen to that. Oh, yeah, that's great. So there is Zack Snyder and Screech. Okay. So good for the cards. Thank God they're not worth anything. Zack and Mike, I, you know, I don't know who Mike is. Oh, there she is, Kelly. What's up, girl? Uh, what does it say I'm back? Uh, Zack, you coming, Kelly? Kelly, well, yeah. We could go out and get a pizza, or we could stay here alone. Zach, talk about a no-brainer. Yeah, that's right. Um, we've got the cast there. Whoa, look at that hairstyle. This this had to be in the 90s, right? <laughs> Very cool. Saved by the Bell, the college years, of course, by Pacific. Zach, that is some interesting hair he's got going on there. All right, so I, I don't remember if, if, if they are Alex and Slater. Um, who was the original girl in this video? Yeah, I have no idea. He's got his high tops on, his Reebok high tops. Very nice. And there's Leslie. Saved by the Bell, the college years. Okay. All right. Another one of those trading card sets. If you have a few dollars and a minute of your time, you could probably get that set. This is the Rock Cards. Yeah, these are great. All right. Um, I don't know who all these people are. This looks like a, a sticker. There's a contest card in here. Very cool. Um, Tico Torres. Now, if you ask me who these people are as far as a band, I will probably get one or zero right. So we'll see. Brian Johnson, I have no idea. David Coverdale, zero idea. Oh, it says up there, White Snake. Oh, they, they, oh, they oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. Bon Jovi, ACDC, Whitesnake. Whitesnake, great. Uh, Skid Row, Scotty Hill. Uh, Tico Torres is Bon Jovi. Nikki Sticks. Now, Nikki Sticks, I do know, is Montley Crew. That's a no-brainer, Nikki Sticks. That's great. Rick Hunnelt, uh Exodius. Have no idea. There's Fred Curry, Cinderella. 
Gary Holt, Exodius, Exodus, whatever they're called, Salty Dog, <laughs> Salty Dog, look at these guys, man, that was a great era that will never probably return, um, Johnny Rico, uh, Warrior Soul, okay, Jerry Dixon from Warrant. So oh, yeah, she's my cherry pie. I don't even know. Grandma Edge. I don't, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> rock cards. There you go. Rock cards. I'm not going to subject you guys to all these pack openings. Uh, I think this is something I should probably do in my own time. Miles at Trading Cards. You came through, brother. Thank you so much. There is another package in the mail from me to you. Um, I think this time around I'm going to throw you some vintage as well. Um, I hope you tear open those packs that are worth $20 and $25 just to look at the cards because it makes me so happy when people do that. Uh, Miles of Trading Cards, you guys check out his channel. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful mystery box, um, the heroes cards, the dandy tattoos, the graded baby and the Tom Bunk autograph and everything else. Super nice of you, man. Okay, let's move right along. So uh, a long time ago, <laughs> I ordered the Garbage Pail Kids, uh, Mad Mike and the Quest for Stale Gum. Uh, limited edition to 4,000. It is by I Am 8-Bit. I think I got a sticker somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so the I Am 8-Bit sticker. Um, I am 8 back. I, I've, I've actually got a couple of games over there sitting on my game shelf from them. But uh, this I, I really, really wanted. Uh, Garbage Pail Kid themed. I purposely, I've, I've seen it played online, but I have not played it, even though I had the downloadable code. The reason I didn't play it is I wanted to play it on original software. I've got my NES over there. It's always powered up. I just need to use a switcher box. So I am going to play this, and because I am going to play this, I'm going to go ahead and open it today here for you folks, and we're going to see what's inside. Now, my understanding is you can get um, a fancy cart or you can get a regular cart. I don't know if the color of the box is, is, is going to tell you what color cart you get. Um, it's been so long since I've actually done anything with this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and cut this. I do try to keep the shrink wrap on this, obviously, if I can, but uh, if I can't, I can't. But here we go. Your quest for stale gum is about to begin. Let's see what's in here. All right, so we've got a clear blue. That's cool. Let's take this out and take a look at it. That is awesome. I love the clear blue cartridge on this. Really nice high gloss label. Looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, very cool. NESlives.com. It's got some newer type chip technology in this. It's definitely heavier than your standard Nintendo games. So there's the end label for that. Absolutely looks beautiful. What do you guys think? Um, clear blue. Inside of here, it looks like we've got some GPK. I am 8-bit cards. Um, let's go ahead and open these up and, and see what those are about. You know, this is something that's going to stay in my collection, so I definitely don't mind taking a look at this. Here's the cards that came in there. Um, you've got Patty Putty in the 8-bit. That is really cool. I'm back. You got some Patty Putty in the game character. You got the game character Leaky Lindsay. Very nice. Luke Puke. <laughs> that is so great. And Mad Mike. Uh, the cards are done in the 8-bit characters. Really cool. Welcome edition. I'm going to add those to the collection. And then, of course, you have the old-school Nintendo instructional booklet. Um, I love that. Now, these are initially what I thought was going to be um, what the colors of the game systems were, and they're not. Uh, they are clear. You could get the pink one and then the blue one. I think the blue one is is more common. Uh, you had a one in chance, uh, ten chance to get the pink one. Um, I am eight bit is is notorious for always throwing in some sort of chase. And and funny enough, oh, they even got the notes section in the back. That's great. Uh, funny enough, they they always do that. And and so many people that collect these games, their their conversation is you got to open it up to see if you have the cool chase game. 
but then if you open it up, does it lose value? And <laughs> I really don't care. This is, is truly something that's going to stay in my collection. Um, I am 8-Bit Mad Mike Nintendo game. Super stoked to have this. Awesome. The box is in really, really nice condition as well. Um, they did a good job on this, and, and I didn't mind waiting for this. I knew eventually I was going to get it. So, very cool. I'm going to put this in my Nintendo this weekend and definitely check out this game and, and have quite a bit of fun. So, very cool. Nice little card set in there. I am 8-bit. Mad Mike in the quest for stale gum. Very, very cool. Um, you know, we have a little bit of time. Uh, the video's been going for about 20 minutes. So, um, just briefly, I'll, I'll talk through some pickups that I have. Um, I ended up finding a box of historical history uh, 1977 tops I believe is historical history and uh, I really enjoyed this card set uh, I have a bunch of packs of this one here and uh, now I just have a full box uh, very welcome addition to the collection I'm gonna go on the collection shelf and I know I'm kind of corny the Fleer Robot Wars rub off game stickers with bubblegum uh, the cool part about this is I remember buying these from uh, Kmart and Ben Franklin when I was a kid. And uh, if you had robots or Transformers, um, they were a little big for GoBots, but if you had Transformers, you could actually use... Oh, it says it on the box, yeah. Um, for GoBots and Transformers and other robot systems, you could put stickers on them and, and decorate them yourself. And you could win this robot. Uh, which in, in the early 80s, what is this, 1985 Fleer, um, was pretty cool. But this is, is a really nice box of Robot Wars um, Unpunched there. So that's a welcome addition to the collection that will stay sealed. Um, I told everyone that uh, I did complete my Beavis and Butthead uh, first inaugural edition box. Um, I actually have more than 36 packs in here. They're just a little bit compressed. Um, Beavis and Butthead, great series of cards. So that is a, a welcome addition and, and something that... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this sealed on the collection shelf because I do have the Fleer Ultra ones. Um, the big difference with the Fleer Ultra cards is... Uh, um, they're, they're a little higher quality, of course, and they come with uh, a couple additional cartoon series in there. But uh, very, very nice. Um, I ended up putting this box together for uh, less than 80 bucks, which, which I thought was a really good deal. Thank you, Ian's Records, uh, for getting me that box. Uh, it's a super minty box. And then uh, I got another box of Hit, Spit, Swear, Scratch, and Steel. I was watching Tupac Jimmy, and uh, he was opening these cards. And, and I have one that's sealed. I, this one's not in, in great condition, but, uh, you know, for the price, it was less than 20 bucks. I just couldn't pack, pass it up. So I'm going to tear these open and, and build a set offline. Um, I'll open a pack or two for you, but uh, still a, a welcome addition to the collection. Uh, Criterium Racer. Uh, gave us in his last video a, a little secret to go to a place to get uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are the the 59 cent, I believe they're they're the cello packs. You know, let's find out. I, I know this is super noisy. You have my apologies on that, but we are going to check it out and see if they are in fact the cello packs. Um, let's open this up. Yeah, so they're the 59 cent cello packs, and, and these packs look absolutely amazing. I, I, I love them. Of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, these are going to be the cartoon series. Um, I think they were 22 bucks uh, for a box of these. That's a welcome addition to the collection, and I didn't have a, a full box. I've got lots of packs there, so I'm going to just add that to the collection. And then, of course, he was, you know, I didn't know anything about the Babysitter's Club besides I, I see this wax pack all the time on eBay, and it's always really expensive, and I'm trying to figure out why it's so expensive, <laughs> and I couldn't, but uh, I found him on that super secret site that only myself and the other 100 people that watch the video know about. So if you want to find out where you can get some of these for $4 a piece or less, instead of 25 or 30 on eBay, you got to go check out Criterion Racers channel. And while you're stopping by new channels, make sure you check out trading cards as well. But uh, I got a couple of packs of those, so thank you, Lee, for that wonderful advice. 
um, have a nice little lot deal of, of not yield die creature feature cards um, from Tops, and these came from Canada. So I am building a set. So I, I just uh, when I can get uh, I don't know what 25 cards of this for less than three or four bucks, um, I pick those up. Um, nice little pack deal. A uh, nice pack of Battlestar Galactica. Uh, really great. Uh, well, good seal on the back. So, um, just a few bucks there. And then I, I did pick up a few other wax packs for my collection. I've got a, a Dactari um, pack, which is in relatively good condition. Unfortunately, these packs from the '60s sometimes that that gum bleeds through. Um, it is gonna the cards inside of these are gonna be ruined. But uh, this is 1966 uh, Ivan Torres Films Incorporated. Um, so yeah, this is a welcome addition to my '60s collection. Um, I have a Tops Batty Buttons metal button, um, and it, you never know what button you're gonna have. But the checklist is on the back. It is a paper pack, uh, but still, I did not have this. This is gonna be '70s Tops um, Fleer Jet Set stickers. I believe it's 71 it could be 60s you know Fleer doesn't tell you and I didn't do a lot of research on this I just knew that I did not have this um, stick almost anywhere of course 60s 70s um, Fleer stickers tattoos that's that's their bag baby um, but a really nice and and well sealed wax pack of Jet Set stickers um, for those of you that saw, I have a pack of Tattoo Man, but I, I couldn't pass up this pack of Tattoo Man that was just in beautiful condition. Um, so I picked up an extra pack of Tattoo Man. Um, no staining on this one. Um, such an iconic image on the front of this pack. So by Swell and, of course, 60s, uh, probably mid-60s or late-60s for Swell. But another welcome addition to my collection. Of course, we've got the first series wacky packages, 1979 tops. Very nice. Um, and the Battlestar Galactica and all, all of these other packs came in a lot deal that I got for 20 bucks on eBay. These I bought separate. So Battlestar Galactica, I got a, a wacky packages, 79 tops first series. Another pack of Jamie Summers, the Bionic Woman. Really, the reason I bought the whole lot is is this pack. Of course, the gum is not loose, and and typically in Don Russ cards from the 70s, you're not going to find loose gum. Uh, but I, I bought a pack of this. I think it was 24 or 25 dollars, and I thought it was getting a good deal on that. And then I found this lot, and I was the only bidder for 20. So uh, a great addition to the collection. Another pack of Bionic Woman. Um, another pack of Creature Feature. The bubble, bubble gum is is sealed in here. Um, well sealed pack. Uh, 80s tops Creature Feature. Very cool. Uh, the six million dollar man. And again, uh, gum's not loose. Don Russ, 70s, right? But, um, you know, this is becoming a little bit more sought after wax pack. I, I know that the Million Dollar Man is a collectible toy series as well as a, a television series in the 70s and 80s. Uh, but this is a, a welcome addition to my collection, the second one, and, and by far better condition. And for 20 bucks, I, I couldn't beat that. Uh, Charlie's Angels, awesome. All new photos on that. I believe that's 78 tops, right? Uh, doesn't tell me. Well, another pack of Knight Rider. I'm actually trying to work a deal on a box of Knight Rider. Uh, and then, of course, another pack of Welcome Back Cotter. So a lot of these you've seen before. Uh, but this whole lot uh, that you see right here, again, 20 bucks on eBay, I thought, what a, what a really good deal and a, and a welcome addition to the collection. Nothing I didn't have, um, but a few of these I only had one of. All right, uh, let me get a sip here of some Bush Latte. Mmm, so, so good. All right, uh, in addition to those, I, I do have a couple other little unique packs. Um, from our super secret place, I, I picked up a couple of the uh, cello, two-car cellos and gum of creature, or you'll, these are actually you'll die laughing, not creature feature. Um, I thought they were great. Of course, as you can see, the cards are bent and, and pretty much ruined. Um, the gum was supposed to be intact in all these, and, and, and I guess it's so brittle. Um, it didn't matter. I didn't have them, and they're a welcome addition to the collection. Anytime you're going to have a cellos from those. Um, I did get a pack of Speed Wheels, which is rub-offs by Tops. And inside of here, when you break this open, you have the actual card that you can rub off and play the game. 
Um, you can feel the card in there. And this is going to be 70s, I believe, as well. Uh, might be 1980, but tops. Uh, welcome edition. I did not have uh, the 24 tattoos. So I got a pack of those as well. I thought these are neat. Uh, just put it in a top loader and save it in my collection. And then Far Out Iron-Ons by Tops, And this is going to be Tops in 19... I want to say 76, but I, I might be wrong on that. Regardless, these are going to be your Iron-Ons. You tear it open and you can put one of these Iron-Ons on a t-shirt. So really cool. Another pack that I didn't have. And ABC Wide World of Sports contains two giant size stickers. Uh, what I really like about these is they really do depict uh, the 70s. These are going to be 1975 tops. Uh, yeah, 1975 American Broadcasting Company, ABC. So maybe 76. Oh, it's ABC Wide World of Sports. I thought it was done by tops. Oh, it is done by tops. Yeah, okay. But uh, you get giant stickers, and uh, they're really cool. And, and for those of you that watched uh, ABC's Wide World of Sports or Shell, the, the old school golf tournaments, um, really nostalgic TV. I, I, I enjoy watching some old YouTube videos at night when I'm having an issue sleeping, and, and I'll just turn on one of those. And um, I'm very cool. You know, I am a kid of the 70s and 80s. To me, this is, this is awesome. Uh, so another pack that I didn't have for the collection, and now I do. Okay, everybody, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me, spending a half an hour with me. I really appreciate it. If you like today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It makes me feel good about myself. Subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of content. And, of course, if you want to reach out to me, feel free to leave a comment. Heck, you could send me an email if you want to take a plane ride to Nebraska. We can hang out and have a bush latte together. That's it. Take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye.